Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat, YouTube.com. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing to this channel. If you haven't done so, I beg you to please do so right now. Uh, during the course of the baseball season, I kind of want to do, uh, you know, thoughts, reviews of uh, my uh, favorite team, the Yankees, along with, I guess, kind of like a Yankee Yankeeography or thoughts on some of the uh, Yankee greats. And um, Paul O'Neill is one of them that uh, comes to mind. So many great memories when he was, uh, his years with the Yankees, probably one of the greatest Yankees. Uh, the Reds, if you remember him, uh, traded him to the Yankees in 91. When he arrived at Yankee Stadium, he secured, I think, his position uh, in the outfield and in the lineup. He only got better um, as time went on in New York. Uh, he contributed a lot of timely clutch hits, home runs, and either fouling the ball off or drawing a walk to help his team. In 97 against the Indians, Paul O'Neill had gotten hurt by jumping over the wall to catch a ball. If you remember that. He injured his ribs and couldn't play a couple of games. In the ninth inning of the playoffs, he hit a double off the wall, hustled with everything he had, got to second base after George Steinbrenner nicknamed him the after that instance the warrior and that's what he was playing in the World Series after your father had just died shows how dedicated to the Yankees this guy was uh, and to his team uh, you know he's one of the few Yankees who has a persona on and off the field and he's uh, you know, he's a great commentator for the Yankees here if you haven't ever had the, the chance to listen to him. He's fair. Always remember him game five of the ALCS versus Lou Pinella, uh, the Mariners in 2001. Watching it on TV, the fans were chanting, no game six, overrated, Paul O'Neill, Paul O'Neill. After Sweet Lou guaranteed a victory, which would have returned the series to Seattle, if you remember. Lest you forget, the Mariners were, I think, 116 and 46 that year, and were being, you know, crowned as the best team ever. <laughs> Since O'Neill had announced his intent to uh, retire, the fans were aware, you know, they were aware that Game Six, Game Five rather, was potentially his uh, last game at the, I guess, the home office. For MLB. Thankfully the Yanks won game five and O'Neill got to play in one more World Series in the Bronx. And despite the outcome of the 2001 World Series, it was one of the most exciting I think I ever seen on TV. What I remember most about the aftermath of the Yankees clinching the pennant at home in 2001 was the fans singing and hugging in the streets after the victory. Ground Zero still smoldering within 10 miles of the stadium. Uh, it was you know, exactly the therapy session that many New Yorkers needed. I hope all is well. 